Hey, eighth graders, let's get glazing. Uh, when you picked up your pottery, there was this piece of uh, newsprint that I included, and I may just leave it folded in half, and then I can reuse it by folding it the other way, turning it over, so you can get more than one use out of this, all right? Now we're gonna grab our pottery here, and uh, this is gonna be my first one, and these are um, old examples left behind from last year, no names, no whatever. So if you used a stamp and you wanna put some glaze down in there, I have, uh, I chose teal blue, and uh, chocolate brown or French brown. And uh, I may do teal blue in here, French brown on the outside or brown in here, teal blue on the outside, whatever. Let me take my mask off, I'm in, by myself. So, or I'll just do brown and brown. That sounds fine to me. So I wanna put color down in here. You all got a little brush and all you have to do is literally go over your design where you want that color. Now I know they're just little cups, but all we're doing is filling these in and I make sure to rub the brush across the top of it to make sure that it fills in down there. You can go over a little bit, that's fine. We're gonna wait for this to dry anyway. You can tell that it's dry because it gets a little chalky uh, some of these are thinner than others. Some are kind of clumpy on the inside. That's fine. Just smush those clumps out. This part doesn't need to be so neat because you are going to be wiping off the excess. The trick is, though, to make sure that it's all dry. Otherwise, you're going to start smearing it all over the place and to get it nice and thick inside those lines. The pink glaze over here, this is your clear, that's your gl uh, gloss glaze. It's, uh, I believe, Amico LG10. One pint of it left at Blick Art Materials that I found yesterday. Went out and got, so I had some extra. Not extra, but the extra I needed for all you guys. All right. I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry. I am gonna rinse my brush out really fast over here. I have a cup of water over there because I'm gonna do uh, an example of blue on the other one. Now I'm not going to, I do wanna paint the edges brown also. However, I don't wanna do that until I clean the center of this. So I am gonna set this aside and let that dry for now. And then we'll also get this one. This one has blue all over it. It's a little bit larger. So since this surface area is so large, I don't wanna spend, a, you know, I'd spend a ton of time using this brush. Um, you can also smear it in with your fingers and do you see how that uh, really gets it off the surface there and it smushes it down and in. I mean, try whatever technique you want, but I'm gonna to try to keep the paint or um, the paint, the glaze, just where it needs to go. The excess is gonna get wiped off. And you'll see that. And I'm uh, not only did I put a uh, piece of the newsprint out there for you in the lobby with your projects, your fired projects, but I'm also going to include a sponge. Uh, if for those of you who, I don't know, I'm just gonna put a bucket of sponges out there because I don't know who returned their sponges and who hasn't returned their sponges. Um, so if you need the sponge back, go ahead, take it back because you'll see why you need it in a second here. We'll come back to the video after these dry. But notice these little cups, it's like, oh, it doesn't look like a lot, but a little goes a long way when it comes to underglazes, okay? You don't have to use underglazes uh, just in this manner. You can, um, you know, paint little designs, you can paint the edge of it if you want. But again, I'm gonna to wait to do all these details until I'm done cleaning up my color inlay here. I kinda of like that, I like that term, a color inlay. So my finger's flat, I'm mushing that glaze in there, spreading it around. Let's get some up in these. 
All right, I'm gonna mush that in there. Perfect. Put the cover back on the glaze because I will take these back. Uh, clay is kind of the cheaper part of this project. It's the glaze, the pints of glaze, they run anywhere from 10 to 20 to $35 uh, for just one little pint. So we'll put that aside. We're not using our clear coat yet. We will use our clear coat in a little bit, but right now I'm gonna put this aside for approximately, oh, I don't know, let this dry, 10 minutes. You can see on here, you can see some of the, the spots that are still wet and you just want that all to be dry. And again, it'll turn chalky when it's dry. And obviously the wet spots are inside that design because that's where the glaze is thicker. So that's gonna stay uh, wet longer. All right, so let's just let those dry for now. And we will come back to our next video. And you can go glaze yours right now and uh, while we're waiting for this to dry and you're waiting for the next video.